What's up guys, it's MegDeepL here and I'm bringing you Black 2, White 2, OU Battle vs Elo. I was on his stream the other day and I managed to get a battle with him so I thought I'd share this battle with you guys. Uh, so basically I'm using a team I've been using a lot recently. I've been working with it a lot and I actually really, really enjoy using this team. My opponent is using a Hail team. Looking at his team isn't too much that I would uh, consider threatening. To me, nothing that I can't really deal with but I guess the most threatening pokes on his team would be the Obama Snow and his Keldeo. I'm just going to lead out with my uh, heat Heatro, I'm predicting to lead out with the Obama Snow. Basically, he's just going to want to get up his weather as soon as possible, see, as you'll see that I'm not running weather. And I thought it would be a good chance for me to get up my rocks, so I'm just going to lead out with my heat Heatram. Scare him out with a Fire Blast, set up my rocks, because he is running in a Hail team. So I know that rocks will come in handy. And it's always nice to have rocks up as he switches out into his Inferno, probably not wanting to take a Fire Blast. Probably want to scare me out with a close combat, something like that. And I am going to switch, I am scared out, I don't want to take a close combat. So I'm going to go into my uh, Jelly Bill Wizard, predicts that, obvious switch nicely, goes for the Thunder Punch. I'm looking at this damage, I definitely know that uh, this Inferno is in fact choice banned. So uh, that's good information to know later on. And here I, I actually make a really, really nice prediction. I'm going to predict him to go into his bomb cell, predict me to go into the uh, Guard Chomps, take the Thunder Punch. So in fact, I'm just going to make the double switch and go into uh, Ferrothorn. Because basically, a bomb snow, I see a lot of bomb snow, I think it's quite common that they are choice scarf. Uh, so uh, this bomb snow is the main thing that can stop my uh, Garchomp from destroying his team later on. You know, with that priority ice shard. So basically, I'm just going to T-wave it, make it a lot easier for me to take down later on in the battle with either my, either my Heatran or my... Uh, Inferno, so that's real nice for me as he just goes to the blizzard. I take that well being a Ferrothorn. Now I'm going to switch, go into my Inferno. So like I said, I want to try and take this thing out as, a, uh, as soon as I can. As it goes to the blizzard again, I can always take that because I resist it. And looking at his team, I'm just going to go for that a uh, Fire Blast. He's probably going to switch into his Hitman top, probably thinking I'm physical. And get off the Intimidate, which he does. It goes into him on top, gets off the Intimidate. But I do just hit it with that stabbed fire blast because I am a mix ape and this does a lot to this uh, hit on top which is really nice because this hit on top could be a troll if I don't take care of it soon but here I was kind of scared I didn't want to risk the miss and uh, I wasn't sure if it would take it out another fire blast so I'm just going to go into my uh, jelly scent as he does predict that goes for toxic really nice for him but I guess it's not too bad for me I mean there's nothing he can really do so I know he's going to switch and after all the after uh, effects, I know he's going to switch because nothing his Hitmon top can do to me. So in fact, I'm just going to take this time to uh, set up a recover. As he does switch, he goes into his Obama Snow, I do believe. Yeah, he goes into his Obama Snow. As uh, I set up a recover because uh, at the time I thought Gel Scent would be really useful because uh, it's the only thing I really have to stop that Hitmon top and uh, his Keldeo. Because I know his Keldeo really can't touch me unless if it's uh, carrying the HP electric and... Uh, Ghost, which is common, but I do deal with its uh, dual stab really well, so that's good. So basically, I'm going to switch out because I want to keep my uh, gel scent flare going to my heat tram because even if I predicted the infinite switch and wanted to go for that uh, earthquake, I am on a balloon, so I would have been able to uh, obviously take that. As no, he just starts locking himself into the wood hammer. Here, I thought he'd switch into the uh, infinite again, so I go for that earth power, except he doesn't. It stays in, and the uh, Goes that wood hammer. Basically, I know now that he's uh, choosing to sack his uh, a bomb snow, which isn't the greatest play because, like I said, it's the only thing that he had if he's running the ice shard to take care of my chomp. But it's fantastic for me. I am able to take out, I hit the fire blast, take out this uh, bomb snow, which could have been a threat, but I deal with it well, so that's great for me. Now he goes out into his Keldeo, probably wanted to get a free switch into this, that's why he sacked his uh, bomb snow. I'm just going to switch, go into my jelly boobs because, like I said, this is the best thing I have to take, it's dual stabbing, it does just in fact, play it safe, go for that secret sword. But, no, I, uh, I'm immune to that, so that's fine by me. Here, I'm not too sure what set he was running, I do see the leftovers. And, uh, I probably thought that this thing was, uh, the calm mindset, it's probably going to set up on me, so. Basically, I'm just going to go for that, uh, will of wisp it does set up the calm mind. reason why I go for that will of wisp because, with the residual damage from the burn and the hail, Will negate his uh, leftovers and slowly be doing damage to him, to his Keldeo, so that's really nice. Thankfully I hit as he sets up that first Calm Mind. 
like I said, the residual damage on this uh, thing will be pretty nice. Basically, there's a lot of after turn effects here. Hail on both Pokemon. Stats conditions on both Pokemon. So, uh, leftovers on both Pokemon. So, yeah, a lot of stats conditions. Here, I do just stay in. Use my uh, gel scent as death odd as it does in fact take me out with that hidden power. Not too sure if it's ghost or electric, but either way, it takes me out, which is fine by me because I know now I can get a free switch into something, <coughs> anything I choose. And basically, I think the best thing to go into would be my uh, guard chomp because I know I can take any hit this thing wants to do, wants to go for, because I know it's most likely not running the icy wind since they're running the hidden power. Obviously, he's running the uh, Secret Sword and the Hydro Pump and the Car Mine was so. So, I'm just going to go for that Earthquake, knowing even if stayed in, it would have been a 2 hit KO on that thing. And I could take any hit, it's, like I said. But now he chooses to go into his uh, hit on top. Get off the Intimidate. The first Earthquake doesn't kill, but he's got taken out by the Hail. Now he goes into his Kyorum, knowing that he can live an Earthquake. want to fire back with either an uh, Ice Beam or a Draco, or something like that. So, I'm going to go into my Heat trying to take any of them, but if, again he predicts the obvious switch, goes for that focus blast, does a decent, no does a decent one man about it, takes me out, which is perfectly fine by me because I can get a free switch uh, into anything I like, I decide to go into my Infernate, just go for that close combat, easily take out this uh, Kyurem, so I believe he's at, down to his last three, the Keldeo, his Infernate, and his Raikou, yeah his last three, and uh, I believe he goes into his Keldeo here, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it goes into Skeldeo. Basically, I'm going to stay in because I want to get this thing down into the range where uh, I could just either come in and Garchomp and take it out. But in fact, I get it down to the range where, in fact, it doesn't just kill, but the burn or hail will take it out after. After he takes me out with the secret sword. So, it is going to... It gets a useless crit. But, like I said, you can't... Well, you can't choose your crits. But, yeah, now the hail is going to take him out. So, that's a double down. And like I said, looking at his team, he has the Raikou and the Infernic Left, so I'm free just to go into my uh, Garchomp. Lock myself into uh, the uh, uh, Earthquake. I was He's not running a Scarf, Raikou or some shit like that, so I am able to take it out easily with the EQ, bring him down to his last Pokemon, his Infernic. And uh, like I said this earlier, this thing is Choice Band, and he was saying on the stream, Stab, Choice Band, Iron Fist, boosted please get a crit but no it does a pitiful amount and i'm easily able to take it out with the earthquake so gg elo thanks for watching guys leave a like rate comment sub okay that's me done all right i'm out